Today we're going to be making a fall leaf. You can find the full crochet pattern on my blog and there's going to be a link posted below. So before you get started, make sure you have a 5.5 millimeter hook and some bulky yarn. This is actually some old softy chunky I had laying around before they changed it to a super bulky yarn. Um, Lion's Pride wool spun would be a great alternative to this yarn. So let's get started on round one. Okay, before we get started on round one, the first thing that we're going to be doing is chaining two stitches. One, two. Then to get started on round one, we're going to be working six single crochet into the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, moving on to round two, we're going to be working in continuous rounds, which means we're not going to be joining with a slip stitch and we're not going to be turning our work. We're going to be working continuously. So for round two, we're going to place two half double crochets into the first stitch and each stitch around. So after I do my first half double crochet, I'm going to place my stitch marker there because I do find when working in continuous rounds, it can be a little bit cumbersome to figure out which one was the first stitch. So I placed one half double crochet in the first stitch and there's my second. Okay, I'm going to do two. This is a little bit harder to work because I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook which normally wouldn't be used with a bulky yarn, but I want the um, the leaf to have a very tight weave to it, which is why I've done that. And I also want it to be a bit stiff because we're going to be turning these into coasters if you choose to, or you can just make the leaves and do whatever you want with them. But this particular tutorial is going to be um, for a crocheted leaf coaster. And we want to check our counts at the end of each round. If our counts are off, then we, when we start working um, in round four, the math is not going to add up. So we're just going to take a minute to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. And so we're going to move on to round three. In round three, we're going to be placing two double crochets in the first stitch and then we're also going to be placing two double crochets in each stitch around. So again what I'm going to do is after I do my first stitch in round three I'm going to slip in my crochet stitch marker so that I can easily locate the first stitch of the round. Okay so that's one double crochet and we're going to work in two. And you can um, go ahead in the video if you like, or you can stay with me while I crochet this round. So two double crochet in each stitch around, and at the end of this round, we should have 24 double crochets. It's raining here today, so it actually feels like a really fall day. And the other day, on the first day of fall, I looked out the window and I said, I saw one single leaf falling from my neighbor's tree. It was kind of cool. And now I'm starting to see them turn around the neighborhood, which is kind of nice. Okay, so this round takes a little bit longer. Like I said, you can skip to the end or work around with me. working those double crochets.
Okay, now that we are at the end of round three, we are actually going to join this round with a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, which is right here. So we're going to do that slip stitch, and then we're going to move on to round four, and this is where things are going to start to take shape. So for round four, we are going to skip the first stitch, which is this one right next to the slip stitch we just made. And then in the stitch after that, we're going to place seven double crochet. So that's our skip stitch, and that's where our seven double crochet are going to go in. So we're going to go one, two, six so one more then it tells you to skip the next stitch and this is where it might be a little bit tricky for you because our next stitch is actually hiding it is sorry um, you have to pull our stitches aside and that is your next stitch right there you're gonna skip that one you're gonna put a slip stitch in the next stitch next to it there's your slip stitch and then you're gonna skip this one and you're gonna do the seven double crochet again. So we're gonna do that repeat three more times after this one. So we're gonna do four in total. So I'm actually gonna pause this video and I'll meet up with you after I've done the fourth repeat of the seven double crochet. Okay, I have just finished my third repeat. Now, at the end of the third repeat, you do need to skip a stitch and slip stitch. And then we'll just work our last repeat of the seven double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to slip stitch over the next three. One, two, three. The next thing we're going to do is make our little stem. So once we've joined with the last slip stitch, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, Four. Now what we're going to do is actually work a slip stitch back down the chain. So we're going to go, this is the first chain from the hook, we're going to go into the second one. We're going to work that slip stitch. Down here and also we're going to work a slip stitch into the very first joining slip stitch right here. It's a little tricky. And there we go. Okay, and that's your stem made. Now the next thing that we're gonna work on is making the points of the leaf, and this is what's gonna make it look like a maple leaf. Starting with point one, the first thing that we're gonna do is work a single crochet into the first six stitches. So we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six. Then we're going to work three half double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to 
put a slip stitch back into the half double crochet at the very top. We're just going to make that right there. See? And that's like a little pico that we've done there. Then we're going to do a half double crochet in the following stitch and a single crochet in the next two stitches. And a slip stitch into the next. For okay, now we're going to start on point two. We're going to be working a single crochet into the next four stitches, which is one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we're going to be working all those stitches that you see in brackets on the pattern. So we're going to work a half double crochet, two double crochet, We're going to chain three and slip stitch it back into the top of the last double crochet we did, right here. And then we're going to be chaining two and working a single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two, and slip stitch in the next. And that is your second point of your leaf done. For the top point, or point three, we're going to start off working a single crochet, then a half double crochet in the next stitch, then double crochet in the stitch after that. And at the very top, we're going to be working all the stitches that you see in the brackets, which is a double crochet. followed by a triple crochet, a chain two, one, two, because we're going to make that pico again that makes the little point. After, after we've made that chain two, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the triple crochet, and then work one last double crochet in that same stitch. And that's the top of that point done. Then we're going to work a double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet after that, and a single crochet the next stitch, and followed by the slip stitch. And that's your third point done. Starting to shape, take shape now. It's exciting. Okay, we're actually on to point four now. Can you believe we're almost done? So for point four, we're going to slip stitch the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And then again in the brackets, we're going to work all those stitches into one stitch. So we're going to do a double crochet, one, okay, and then we're going to do a chain three, one, two, three, again we're going to fold it in half and go back into the top of that double crochet with a slip stitch, followed by a double crochet and a half double crochet back into that same stitch. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two. And then we're going to work a slip stitch into the next two. One, two. And that is your fourth point done. Okay, we're on our last point now. We're going to work a slip stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. A half double crochet in the next stitch. And then again, we're going to work all those stitches in the brackets into one stitch. We're going to do a half double crochet, chain three, one, two, three. We're going to fold it and slip stitch it into the top of that half double crochet. And then we're going to 
do two half double crochets back into that same stitch again. Then we're going to single crochet over the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we are going to, oops, sorry, three, and then we are going to join with a slip stitch to the last stitch here. And that is our leaf done. We're just going to fasten off and weave in the end. So the next part of this tutorial, part two, you'll get a link below. And for those who want to turn this into a coaster, I'm going to show you how to do that. But for now, we can just, oops, weave in our ends. I would block this. I have four other leaves that I'm blocking right now before I do my template. And uh, you've got yourself some really cute coasters. So thanks for joining me.